Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Torrance. So today we're gonna to try to make a battery-powered Apple IIc. So we're gonna take my Apple IIc and attempt to power it with a lithium battery. So let's get started. So the goal of this project is to build a battery pack for the Apple IIc and I want to do this so I can bring my Apple IIc to Kansas Fest and not have to worry about finding an AC outlet. So I went ahead and bought a battery pack from XT Power and this is the model MP10000 so it's 10,000 milliamp hours of power and the interesting thing about this power supply is it has two USB outputs so these are 5 volts but it also has a DC output and this can be either 9 volts or 12 volts. And so my plan is to set it on the 12 volt setting and power the Apple IIc off of it. And I've estimated that if the Apple IIc draws an average about 12 watts of power, then this should power it for at least, uh, say, 8 hours. And that's the hope. So the power supply comes with a whole bunch of adapters for various uh, laptops and iPads and things like that, um, but surprisingly it doesn't come with a DIN7 or DIN7 adapter for the Apple IIc. And even though this is kind of shocking, I've decided to remedy that situation by building my own adapter. So what I'm going to be doing is building a DC uh, 2.1 millimeter to DIN7 adapter, and you can see that's right like this and I'm gonna go ahead and use a longer cable than this. All right, so before I actually start wiring, I need to make sure I have the pins correct. And according to the Apple IIc schematics, if you're looking at the pins inside the computer, then the two on the left are the plus uh, voltage, so this would be, for example, say somewhere between 12 and 18 volts and then the three pins over here on the right are ground. And then looking at the actual plug, it would obviously be the opposite. So these two would be the plus 18 or plus 12 through 18. And then these three over here would be ground. Uh, but just to double check and make sure I don't goof anything up, I've actually plugged in a standard Apple IIc power supply. And if I'm correct, this over here should be the ground pins. And these two over here should be the uh, positive voltage. All right, so with the multimeter in the pins, you can see that I'm getting uh, plus 20 volts out of the standard Apple IIc power supply. And so that confirms that I've got the pins correct. And then the last thing I need to check is just to make sure that on my DC cord here that I know which one is positive and which one is negative. So the inside should be positive, so I'll put that in there and switch to continuity. Okay, and I'm assuming that that is going to be uh, the red, which seems correct. Okay, and it's not the black, which is good. All right, so now I'm all ready to go ahead and wire up the two plugs. All right, so I've got the positive and the ground wires soldered on here to the seven DIN plug. Uh, and I also miraculously remembered to put on the shroud before I did the uh, soldering. And then finally, let's go ahead and we'll assemble the uh, pieces here of the plug and plug it into the power supply. And first measure the voltage just to make sure it looks correct. And then we'll plug it into the Apple IIc. Right, so I've got everything plugged in. I verified that I'm getting 12 volts uh, on the correct pins on the plug and I will go ahead and turn on the power to the battery and then we'll flip on the switch to the Apple IIc and so we heard the beep which is promising uh, we got the Apple IIc at the top and it looks like it actually works so there's the power supply for the Apple IIc now I haven't done any tests for how long the battery will last 
uh, that would be interesting to do and under normal usage maybe try the disk drive make sure it can output that uh, but overall it looks like I now have a battery powered laptop version of the Apple IIc and I'm ready to take it to KFest.